We're just weeks away from the commissioning of the nation's next aircraft carrier, the Gerald R. Ford, and already they're making progress on the carrier after that, the John F. Kennedy. Mike Gooding tells us workers are taking lessons learned from the Ford to bring about important savings on the JFK. Well, today is really the sort of the midpoint of erecting the ship. It is symbolically a very important moment in the life cycle of the construction of the future USS John F. Kennedy with the lowering of the ship's stern. All 933 metric tons of it. Slowly, precisely, they drop the section into place into the dry dock to join up with the rest of the ship. Eventually, CVN 79 will look like this, a mighty and massive testimonial to its namesake, the nation's 35th president. The JFK will follow its predecessor, the soon-to-be-commissioned Gerald R. Ford, CVN 78. Many of the skilled craftsmen at Newport News Shipbuilding who worked on that one are now working on this one. Probably half of our uh, production team worked on the Ford, so there's a lot of lessons learned from Ford. They've been rolled into Kennedy. We're performing much better from a, a cost and schedule perspective on this ship, which is to be expected. Uh, so that, that whole team is working hard to make sure we, we, we leverage those lessons. Which is a good thing since the Ford is coming in about two years late and 23 percent over budget. So to date, we've documented off of CVN 78, the first of class, about 60,000 different lessons learned through our mechanics all the way up through our engineering crowd. Um, we have documented those lessons learned and applied them to 79. When it's done, the Kennedy is projected to cost $11.4 billion, about $1.5 billion less than the Ford. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.